no intention of pretty much running any of them. Uh, probably the only one I was going to run was Rockpool, but uh, it, uh, we approached a few of our clients and asked them, please, can we run their horses? Because uh, it looks like it's going to be a four horse field. Uh, you know, you've got the special one from uh, Milton special one, uh, Charles Dickens, and uh, a lot of the guys have not come down from Joburg, obviously on, on handicap terms. Uh, if you look at the, the merit ratings, he should win by half the race course. And uh, I really think in this sort of a field, uh, there'll be very little excuses. It's a race where if you look at handicapping, he should really, really dawdle home. And uh, we're in there to, to give it some sort of, um, we'll look at putting in a bit of a pace to ensure that it's run at the right pa uh, uh, pace. Uh, you know, we're not looking for something crazy, but we're certainly looking for something that uh, will make it a 2000 meter testing race, is which the Derby has always been. It's not a race for horses lacking in distance. It's the idea of the Derby as a horse that will one day contend the Met, uh, the July, those sort of races. Milers will stick to the gold challenge and the King's Plate and uh, oh, the future champions normally come from this race. So I think we've, we've got a nice combination of horses, but certainly we're up against it. Monitor's special one is gonna be uh, very hard to beat. And I just really wanna thank my clients for coming to the party and uh, allowing us to run their horses here to give it some sort of um, uh, substance. Before we focus on that horse, because obviously he's got the rating to suggest we should, but uh, looking at Mucho De Nero and then Rockpool who, uh, was quite a standout in his gallop this morning, but a standout in his last start with without question right there. Where would you place these horses in terms of their progression from their last start? I, 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 the sales races, for me, form line never stands up. Uh, here, I certainly hope it does with Royal Aussie, but history tells us it doesn't stand up. I remember Rio Kawari getting beat in the sales race and the horse that beat him, I don't think ever won another race. So it's an interesting one. Mucho De Niro twice over going to have no problem with um, the distance. He is a very immature type and possibly a horse I think we'll see the best of him at four. Rockpool is very impressive at the moment. He's certainly I think the one that uh, uh, will run a big race here. He's a horse that's got the most amazing action and maybe underlooked by the, the Cape racing public. Uh, he's a horse that um, is going to be a very interesting horse and a horse that I really, really enjoy training. There's something about him uh, and uh, the action is just amazing to see. And uh, by, being by Futura, uh, he's a horse that will get every bit of the 2000 meters. Remember, when we go to the sales, we don't buy sprinters. We really look for horses with stamina. Yeah. It's something that's big with Snaith Racing. We want to contest the classics. We're not interested in running five furlongs at uh, the race courses. For us, classics are what it's about. That's where the big race is, the big days. Um, so uh, I think uh, Cosmic Event will probably be, he's a natural front runner. He'll go and try steal uh, uh, the race, but obviously in this sort of level is not gonna be easy. Without question was a great run last time. He's a horse that's improving. Gallup was good today. And the run previous to that, he sort of scooted through and, and found traffic and yes. then found, found the speed. Yes, and I think a very in we chose very carefully the jockeys. You'll look at the jockey setup. Um, we don't want our jockeys intimidated. Um, there's a lot of intimidation in the King's Plate. We, we're not looking for that. Um, I've chosen guys that uh, go deaf in a race. That's what I was looking for. So, and they, I've gone with what I think is an upgrade on jockeys to take on the favorite. I needed, I needed the top guys and you'll see, we've, we've cleverly, carefully chosen them. Um, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give it everything we got. We're, we're under the pump, if you want to call, say it like that, um, certainly. Um, this is far the favorite. There's, there's only going to be like three, four other runners in the race and we'll do the best that we can. Um, we're coming to try win, make no mistake. I'm not, the, I'll never be doing this unless I thought, um, you know, I'm, we're making an effort with the numbers, but in the same way we, we doing everything possible for us to come home with the win. So we got it, our work cut out and just uh, looking forward to the challenge. It's going to be a heart pumping day, I can assure you. Um, and I just, I hope, um, you know, with the choice of jockeys and, and our setup, 
that maybe the, you know that's looked at a little bit and give my horses a little bit of a chance.